It is the end of an era. All day, friends and colleagues have been remembering Pete Domenici, one of the most important and influential politicians in New Mexico's history. The former senator died at UNM Hospital in Albuquerque this morning with his family by his side. Here's News 13's Chris McKee. Jessica and Dean Pete Domenici spent 36 years in the U.S. Senate fighting for New Mexico, even earning a unique nickname for how much he brought to the state. He didn't want to walk away from it. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. But in 2007, after more than three decades in the U.S. Senate, Senator Pete Domenici announced his retirement due to health problems. It was clear he loved his job. I cannot imagine having spent my life doing anything more important or rewarding than working with New Mexicans to help New Mexicans. What a wonderful thing. A senator who left a lasting mark on the state, Domenici died this morning. He was 85 years old. The Senate reflected on his legacy today. I came to know him as a smart, hardworking, dedicated, and a very strong advocate for his home state of New Mexico. It's a, 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 lo a great loss to the state. There's Democrat no and former Senator Jeff Bingaman service. worked with Domenici in the U.S. Senate across the aisle for 26 years. Did a lot of good for New Mexico, uh, was a strong advocate for our state. A UNM grad and APS math teacher, Domenici entered politics in 1966, elected to the Albuquerque City Commission. By 72, he was on to Capitol Hill in the U.S. Senate, where many remember him looking past party politics. We found a lot of issues where we could uh, come together and, and come up with a bipartisan solution to a problem. Domenici sat on the powerful Budget and Appropriations Committees, pulling the federal purse strings to benefit New Mexico's labs and bases, earning the nickname St. Pete around the state. The people of New Mexico were fortunate to have him representing them in Washington uh, for such a long time. Now, Senator Domenici had been struggling in his recovery from a recent abdominal surgery. His family has released a statement so far, and many other politicians have released statements. We've posted all of those on our website, krqe.com. Thank you. All right. You. Thank you, Chris. To put it into perspective how popular Domenici was, he won his first two Senate elections by eight and then seven percentage points. No one came within 30 points of him in his next four bids for re-election.